Hey guys, it's your girl Novita, and I'm back at it again with a brand new video. And welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a Girls Talk Part 2. And this one is going to be more in-depth and, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be more stuff to talk about or whatever. And I just wanted to push out this video for y'all because simply, simply because I whole time really didn't even have no video ideas to do or anything. So I was just like, you know what? I got a couple of things to talk about. So we're going to do a, girl, a Girls Talk Part 2. All right, we're gonna go girls talk part two. So yes, yeah, so I hope you like, come subscribe. I'm on social media as we did. Well, I'm also down below in the description box. Speaking of, speaking of my description box, on my last video, I commented under it and I said my description box was not working. So if you click on like my description box, you know what I'm saying, icon type thing, you will see that it's like the, the list is just, it's not working. So, yeah, it's just gonna be the intro, the outro, and I'm gonna put it on the screen. And my ads should be right here or right here, one of these two corners. So yeah, but for real, for real, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as y'all can see, I obviously got my handy dandy. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, what is this called? Uh, my planner, my handy dandy planner. For you guys and i need to the whole time give me like a journal or a notebook to write like all the stuff down because baby this is a planner not a journal so i need to um push my stuff push myself to walmart and get me a planner i mean oh my goodness why stop it get some help get me a notebook the first one is girl codes, abortions, and plan B's, basically. So basically, I'm going to start off with girl code. So people ask a lot of people, well, like, do you believe in girl code? Do you, like, follow by girl code? Stuff like that. Me personally, yes, because, um, simply because it is, from in my, um, opinion, it is not okay for you to be like, Oh, like say if I broke up with you know my boyfriend or whatever and my friend I guess she liked it him so it would not be okay for me to just be like okay yeah you can go out with him no that's nasty like when your friend breaks up with their boyfriend your automatic response should be ill you know what I'm saying it should be ill or like and we all got the type of friends that like when like you break up with your boyfriend they be like oh you should have cheated on him you should have did this you should have did that you know what i'm saying but yeah i feel like you should always follow my girl code because for one that's disgusting why are you going out with your friends exes it's not okay and yeah it's not okay so if you're doing that right now if you're doing it stop it get some help just know that it's not okay and you look dumb because first of all if they broke up with if, if they broke up with your friend for something or if they cheated on your friend what what do you think they're gonna do to you they might do the exact same thing or they might just do it worse you never know so yeah so that's it on girl abortion now some of y'all about to be real mad at me but it must be said a lot of people not finna like what I say about this, but do I care? No. Am I gonna say it? Yes. Do I care about other people's opinions? No. But I am team do whatever you want with your body because for one, if you and your significant other was um was active enough to lay down in the bed and actually, you know what I'm saying, make a baby, 
then it should be both of y'all choice, not just the girl's choice. So it should just be it should be both of y'all choice and y'all both should agree on one thing. And also people say abortion should be legal. I mean it should be illegal or whatever. And to be honest, people say it shouldn't simply because it's people it's children out here wanting to um, get into a family at a foster home and that could have all been avoided if they mama would have pushed their ass to that abortion clinic. And would have got that and would have got that abortion, but you know, they didn't. So they're there. So yeah, but to be honest, you can do whatever you want with your body. Um, and yeah, so that's it on abortion. Now I want to talk about birth control because actually this is a time where most teenagers, um, moms, put them on birth control simply because they don't trust them or. They're going into high school and I think they're gonna be sexually active and stuff like this. Me personally, I'm not getting no, I'm not getting on birth control simply because for one, that's weird. You not a different breed, you just different. You're weird. It, it's weird to me, like it's weird. You have you gotta take a pill every day or like every week, whatever. You gotta get that stuff implanted in your arm. And me personally, I feel like if you wanna get um get birth control i feel like you should do your research on it because for one you can get sick by it um later on in life if you've been on birth control for too long or some of or some side effects of it um you can't have babies later on when you want to have babies um you get well I already said you get sick um your period stops your period gets heavier um it controls your acne or your acne comes back you know what i'm saying like a lot of people got different experiences from them, so don't go on YouTube and be like, my um, my birth control story or whatever. Because for one, your birth control experience might be different from another person, so always just go off your point of view and not somebody else's. Because my story could be way different than theirs, you know what I'm saying? Or like my, you know what I'm saying, my body is different than theirs so it's not it's probably not gonna react the same as you know what i'm saying it acted to hers so yeah just do your research on birth control if you really want to get it because you know what i'm saying it's optional so i want to talk about being a hoe at hoe yeah being a hoe and passing your thing around and being a side chick so, me personally, my definition of a hoe is like, basically, you know what I'm saying, a girl that, I, it, it's, it's complicated, but because a hoe is not a girl that talks to a lot of boys, and they're not in a relationship with none of them. It, a hoe is not a girl that has a whole bunch of um, boys in her phone or whatever. No, that's, that's not a hoe. That is not a hoe at all. It's not a hoe. Me personally, I feel like a hoe is um is a girl that has multiple different boyfriends or whatever, and I feel like a thought is you passing it around. And me personally, I feel like if you're gonna pass it around, at least be safe and at least enjoy it because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We're not well, everything is temporary around you, so I mean if you're gonna do something at least enjoy it at least enjoy yourself while you're doing it be safe you know what i'm saying so y'all sorry y'all something is in my eye but yeah if you finna do that then you know what i'm saying at least enjoy it enjoy yourself while you're doing it and stuff and don't be passing your stuff around because it's nasty in my opinion like i wouldn't do it it's nasty you know what i'm saying so but that's your body that's your choice so and i can't tell you what to do so and then now let's talk about being a side chick because me personally i feel like um being a side chick you're okay with being someone's second choice and in my opinion that's not okay at all because why are you comfortable why are you comfortable with being someone's second choice okay so now this one i feel like okay so i feel like this one is kind of like a touchy topic for some people but this is um like how you dress because you're young and like because it's been like because i don't know why but it just be it be people on my um for you page on tiktok about like 
how like they dressed and how people blamed them like when they got raped or whatever because of how they dressed. Now, me personally, I feel like if your mama know you walking out the house like that, then she know you walking out the house like that and she's obviously okay with it, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell nobody how to dress, um, what shoes to wear, what socks to wear, what shirt to wear, what pants to wear. You can't tell nobody nothing because for one, me personally, I feel like you shouldn't go off other people's opinion. You should only go off yours. So if in your opinion, you looking good, then that's in your opinion. If the other person thinks you're not looking good, then guess what? Yeah. That's you just say to everybody that be having negative comments to you. Because, yeah, that's the, that, that's the mood all 2021. So, yeah. Don't be letting nobody, you know what I'm saying, talk about you and stuff like that and run over you. And, like, that's the same um, with being a side chick because when you are a side chick and you're someone's second choice, that's just making them, like, that's just making them comfortable to run over you and stuff like that. Like, no, that's not okay. And I'm saying, like, if your mom, like I said, if your mom sees you walking out the house like that, then, I mean, like, that's your business and like people have people even talked about me because like i had like i have like if you know me for like a long time i have not had color in my hair well i have not had all black hair like all black weave for an entire year in some months you know what i'm saying so um so people will often be like oh like your mom let you walk out the house like that she let you get all these colors in your hair you be acting like you grown blah blah blah, blah. your hair too long it be past your booty i'm just be like like half of the time like half of the time people don't even know like some half of the time sometimes my mom does my hair and because my mom knows how to do hair so when i have extra hair left over and i know i can get and and i know she can like braid up a style for me then i'm gonna just ask her instead of going to somebody else you know what i'm saying so yeah so yeah yeah i even had family members tell me that like oh your hair is too long you think you've gone i'm just like <laughs> i mean whatever you say because you know what i'm saying i don't really care about these people's opinions never did you know what i'm saying and you shouldn't either because i mean it's your body your opinion and if you think you look good, and baby, sis, you look good, all right? You look good. You look good, baby. Nothing left to say, like, period. 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 <laughs> period. Okay, so that's, so one more thing, well, it's not the last one, but another thing I want to talk about is boys and teenage girls or whatever. So, me personally, I feel like if you are a strict parent and you don't let your kids have, you know what I'm saying, boyfriends and stuff while they're young, me personally, I feel like you should because once they get older and they get in that relationship and that and their boyfriend cheats on them, they're going to be depressed, they're going to be sad, they're going to be depressed, they're going to feel like they need that person. But if you let your child go, if, but if you let your child go out with boys while they're young, they will know that for one, I don't need nobody. I don't need, you know what I'm saying? I don't need friends. I don't need a boyfriend to do this and this and this and this for me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, I feel like if you're a strict parent, you should actually let your child, you know what I'm saying? Go to parties, go to the mall with their friends. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. Okay, so this is actually the last topic and I feel like since, you know what I'm saying? I'm in eighth grade and I feel like most of the people that follow me is either in I think sixth grade to like in middle school probably or in high school or I don't, whatever whatever grade you're in comment down below because I don't really know what grade my subscribers are in so you know what I'm saying comment your grade down below so basically um let's talk about periods tampons pads and discharge and yeah all that stuff so for one tampons and pads are literally not the same thing because for one um tampons if you leave it up there too long you can actually catch an infection so if you want to use a tampon I, me personally i feel like 
and you have like a heavy flow, I feel like you should change it every hour instead of changing it every two hours. Because people that use tampons only use tampons because they feel like when you're using a pad, you're literally sitting in your blood. And they don't like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, me personally, I feel like tampons is more convenient because like simply because like for one tampons is weird if you use tampons you not a different breed you just different you're weird because like <laughs> because it's just like what the heck that's weird as hell and y'all i don't know who calling me too but yeah like i said it's weird it's him so yeah and like discharge discharge is normal if y'all wanted to know discharge is normal but me personally i feel like if you're in school and you get discharged once you get home take a shower because if you didn't know discharge can actually smell and the aroma is not okay same with periods the aroma smell is just disgusting that's why they say change your pads and make sure you keep pads with you because the aroma is disgusting and the smell is disgusting and actually if y'all didn't know people can actually smell me on your period and actually dogs can too and yeah and dogs can actually know when you're pregnant also i i didn't know that i really didn't <laughs> but yeah so discharge is normal so if you have discharge i mean it's normal just make sure you take a shower right after or like once you see it in your panties you know what i'm saying take a shower or whatever take a little quick shower you know what i'm saying so yeah so y'all this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching if you definitely made it this far then make sure you subscribe because if you don't then you're a hater because obviously you like to subscribe on my channel if you made it this far so I don't know, understand why you haven't liked the video and why you're not subscribed yet because you obviously like my channel. So, you know what I'm saying? It would be nice to, you know, see you in the comments and see you subscribe and see you like my video. And yeah, and if this is your first time on my channel, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like this video, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to your girl. Make sure you follow her on Instagram because I am most definitely active up on there. Um, uh, either one time a week or two times a week. But I'm trying to start posting two times a week for YouTube and for Instagram. So y'all, make sure y'all actually be active up on there because I do be posting pictures and on here also because like I said, I am going to be trying to post every two times a week so yeah and y'all make sure y'all comment some videos that y'all would like me to do down below so i would know what videos y'all like and y'all want to see so yeah so without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video